is Microsoft Dataverse? In this video, I'm going to take you through all of the cool concepts you need to know, what it can do, and when to choose it as your data source for Power Platform. The simplest way to understand this is that Dataverse is the native database storage capability that the Power Platform hinges on. You can build all of your apps, flows, chatbots, everything there. But there's a lot more going on than that. And of course, you do have choices with Power Platform. So first of all, when you come along and you want to build an application or a flow or any of those kinds of things with Power Platform, you fundamentally have a choice of bringing a data source that you already have and using the connectors in the platform, nearly 500 of them, or you can use Dataverse, which is that built-in data source. So when do you use which and how do you choose? If you've already got a data source that's working for you, then you can bring that. So if you've already got something that's working on SharePoint or Excel or even in a full database capacity already, you want to consider, you know, what's the cost or effort of moving it? So firstly, is that data source actually serving you well? Is it giving you the right kind of security you need? Can it handle the storage and capacity and so on? All good. If you're working with an enterprise database system, then you know lifting and shifting here isn't always necessary. If you're working on SharePoint and you've got the right amount of stuff in there and it's all working okay for you, awesome. You can use the connectors and go ahead with that. What I'm gonna do here is talk you through Dataverse and what its capabilities are, because if you're in the market for a new data source and if you're coming to Power Platform, there are a lot of advantages to using it because it's right at the heart of the platform and enables a heap of stuff that you can do. Let's take a look at that. First up, it's a place that allows you to easily shape and store your data and to have relationships between the different data tables that you want to work with, however you want your business to work. Creating a table is done with a drag and drop interface. So I can go in here, select new table. Let's say I'm working with a, a bunch of products that I want to sell in my organization. I can create that, but it's more than just the data table itself. And so there's a lot of settings in here. So I can do things like enabling attachments, which means I can put notes and have a, a timeline in there of activities. I can track all of the changes and audit what's going on. I can have custom help screens. I can have SharePoint integration with document management and so on. So there's a lot of different options in there that come with setting up a table as well as the different data fields that we've got. Once I've created my table, I can go in and add the different columns or fields that I want to add. And you'll see there's a bunch of stuff already here, which is enabling auditing and security. You'll see things in here like created by, modified by, modified on. I didn't do any of that. That's all done for me when I create a table in Dataverse. So I can go ahead and add columns of different types in here. If you'd like to know more about that, check out my video here, which has all of the information about the different column types that you can add. We can also set up relationships between our data tables. So we've got one to many and many to many relationships, which can very easily be set up. And you'll see a bunch of them already ready to go for me there, just from some of those options that I selected when I set up the table. And it's not just your relational data. We've got options in here to create columns that can store files or images. We've also got audit logs stored in there so that we can see that somebody changed this value to another value on a certain date and time. And that's automatically all stored in there when it's enabled as well. So rich relational data, variety of different data types, very easy to set up whatever data model you want for your organization in Dataverse. Next, let's have a look at the security, which is very rich and very granular. Within Dataverse, first up, everyone is signing in with Azure Active Directory. So all of the security that comes with that, and most organizations are already using it, that Microsoft sign-in box you get when you log in is your first point of call to authenticate your users to get into Dataverse. From there, users can be assigned roles, and each role can have security across all of the different tables in the system, as well as some of the other capabilities. I'm looking here at a role, for example, for a salesperson. There's a lot on the screen here. Don't try to take all of this in, but we've got the core records here. So for instance, I've got my account record, and this is defining what the person who is in that role or the people who are in that role are going to be allowed to do inside Dataverse. What can they create, read, write, which is the edit, privilege, delete, append and append to are about working with related records to that table, assigning the record to others because we've got that built-in ownership model and sharing. And these little icons here represent the different levels of permission that can be applied. No permission at all, just the records that I own as a user, 
records within my business unit sideways, parent-child business units if you're in a hierarchical model or across the whole organization. And just having a click through here, you'll start to see how rich this really is. In addition to that, we can go right down to enabling field level security to redact or block access to particular fields to particular security roles. So really rich, complex security inside Dataverse as your data source. Dataverse also has business logic, and this is all done at the data layer. So that means regardless of what you're building on top of it, whether it's a Canvas app or a model-driven app or a flow, whatever experience is going on the top of that, that business logic that you've set up will apply. It's not just done on a per app basis. So we've got things here like duplicate detection, where we can set up things that will say, you know, if a contact already has the same first name and last name and email address, flag that as a duplicate and don't allow it to be created. We can also create calculated and roll up fields. Calculated fields allow us to do things on the particular table, creating the minimum or maximum or average or some value of various things. And roll up fields allow us to do calculations based on related tables. So I've got an app here where I'm managing equipment and the number of orders that are coming in for it. I can create a field that is going to add up the number of orders from that related table back to each piece of equipment. Dataverse is also scalable. We're talking terabytes of data here. This is being used in some of the world's largest organizations with like more than 20 terabytes of data and absolutely massive volumes of transactions. So you don't have to worry about that capacity capping out when you're using this as your data source. It's actually the same database that's sitting underneath Dynamics 365 sales and customer service, which are the big CRM and customer service and case management systems, again, used at scale in a lot of places around the world. And one of the most important things if you're putting your data somewhere is, are you going to be able to find it again? Yes, <laughs> Dataverse search here is giving you a really smart, easy to use search configurable as well. It'll give you suggestions as you start to type. It will suggest recent things you've looked at and it will also pick up things using natural language intelligence that might be misspellings, extensions of words, finding words anywhere. So very smart, sophisticated search going on across your data in Dataverse. And on top of all of that, the other really important thing to understand about Dataverse is that it enables the full capabilities of Power Platform, which means if you're coming to this and choosing that, you can build end-to-end -end business systems. So we're not just talking about individual applications anymore. This is enabling everything from a customer-facing portal to an app that someone might be using on their phone, model-driven apps on the screen here. You can also enable workflows and so on. So you've always got options. If you're bringing your own data source, you can absolutely absolutely build flows and canvas apps and chatbots and Power BI reports and get all of that out of it. But if you want to get into model driven apps or if you want to build a Power Apps portal to enable your data to be securely accessed by your customers or external users, then Dataverse is the only thing that is going to enable that. Bit of an exclusive there. If you'd like to understand more about model driven apps and what they are and how you can get started with those, make sure you check out my tutorial here where I take you through all of that.